Welcome back. For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Log on to m.channelstv.com to watch us on your mobile device or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows devices from their respective stores. The Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You'll also have access to the eyewitness feature with which you can share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. Governor Ayofayo Shia of Ekiti State is wading into the violent clash between neighboring communities in Ekiti and Kwara states that share boundaries. The two areas have been locked in a battle over land for a while, leading to the violence amongst members of that area. The governor convened a peace meeting involving all the concerned parties where steps towards resolving the conflict were taken. Ekiti and Kwara states are neighbors who share land borders at Edaunio at Ileja Meje local government area of Ekiti state and Oboa Yegule at Ekiti local government area of Kwara state. Although neighbors, their relationship is sore, all because of the claim of ownership of a piece of land. This broken head, wounded arms and feet are some of the reminders of the last face-off. Don't get involved in you. you are the leader of these people who love us about this man they love you. Ekiti State Governor Ayodele Fayoshi will have none of that again, and so he invites all warring parties to his office for a round table talk. Because of land oh, yeah. <clears throat> After all said and done, the governor is playing the role of a peacemaker, administering oaths on the leaders of both communities. Whatever the Bible brings upon us, will let people will come upon them. Whatever the Bible brings upon us, people will come upon them. We don't want violence in whatever name. When violence starts, you don't know where it will end, how it will end. You don't know who will be consumed. So we are more particular about peace. And that could be, we won't find violence without sponsors, without interested parties, people who are funding it. So today I have won the traditional rulers to keep their domain well. I've warned the council chairman on behalf of my brother and Quara to keep their domain and shun violence. And uh, we're setting up a committee to look into issues raised. This meeting seems to be having an impact as the monarchs promise to follow up on it. We don't expect less. So what he has said is okay. Both of us, we abide by it, by the grace of God. I'm going home now to tell my people what the governor said, and that is final. This is quite an effective uh, approach to a very bad situation we had on our hands, and I have cause to thank him very much for doing what he has done. We'll go ahead and implement his directive. With the promises to sheath their swords, one hopes that there won't be any need to reconvene this meeting again, at least for these communities. And now let's turn our attention to the southeast and the south-south part of the country. Owners of sealed buildings in Enugu State that fall short of approved building standards have been given a 72-hour warning that all illegal structures within that metropolis will be demolished. According to the commissioner in charge of the Enugu Capital Territory Development Authority, the clampdown is coming after eight months of constant reminders and pleas to the owners. And in Bielsa State, the government says it will no longer be business as usual for illegal landowners, especially those who have erected structures on government land. To set an example about the seriousness, the Bielsa State Governor, Siraki Dixon, and some government officials personally supervised demolition of such illegal structures. The country has continued to experience upsurge in building collapse in recent times and that attendant loss of innocent lives demand a very strong response from relevant government authorities to end the ugly trend. Perhaps the reason why the Enugu state government is clamping down on weak and illegal structures across the state. 
According to the Commissioner for Enugu Capital Territory Development Authority, Mr. Chidi Aro, the exercise will assist government in its urban renewal program. The issue of building out of the law in Enugu has reduced by more than 70 percent because we have not just tried to enforce the law, our leader, the governor, has also been on the road himself to educate people on the processes of this urban renewal and why standard procedures will be taken. You can see yourself that we have a four-story building without any railing around, no protection for occupants. I can also assure you that even as it is, we have also asked for the development control approvals for the construction of this building. We haven't seen any. In Bayelsa State in the South-South region, the government says it won't be business as usual for those who are in the practice of selling government land. This is why Governor Siriaki Dixon is personally supervising the demolition of illegal structures on government-acquired lands in Yenogua, the state capital. Irrespective of who the person or persons are, that this government or governments before this one paid compensation and the people received government money, then it is criminal. We'll treat them as criminals. We will treat those who have bought the land as trespassers. Now this phase of operation is only targeted at those who have encroached, those who have trespassed on government land. Residents believe that government must ensure that only qualified professionals are involved in the implementation of all physical development programs as this is the only way building collapse in the country can be reduced to its barest minimum. Governor Willy Obiano of Anambra State has signed a 1.6 billion naira contract for control and reclamation works on two erosion sites approved by the World Bank in Obosi and Ogidi, both in Dembele North local government area of Anambra State. The deal will see the World Bank assist Anambra to tackle 12 erosion sites. While appreciating the World Bank for the support, Governor Obiano told the company handling the projects that it's expected to deliver within 24 months. Obusi, a community in a Daimili North local government area of Anambra State, is a community that has constantly been sacked by erosion menace. Also in Ogamoma, the depth of erosion in the area speaks volumes and the people remain helpless, having no other place to go. The residents express their worries and what they have been going through. So this place is very, very, very dangerous for us. It has cleaned a lot of things that we have here. A lot of people are packing out. The project coordinator for Anambra State's new map states that erosion is deeply reducing the landmass of the state, which calls for serious attention. Governor Willie Obiano has declared a state of emergency and has uh, continued to forge very close relationships with the, uh, uh, the federal government of Nigeria, as well as the international development institutions to help and bring uh, all sort of ideas and assistance in helping to stem this uh, menace. The situation is even more critical in India, Gui, Kenga, Gidi. Erosion has torn through their community, leaving them in danger. All hope is not lost for these residents as Governor Willy Obiano signs a 1.6 billion naira contract to see to the commencement of control and reclamation construction in the two sites which will commence immediately. You know, so we are going to assign this function uh, very seriously because it's the, we are the obligo, the state is the obligo to this transaction. With the funds provided by the World Bank, the state government is optimistic. It will ensure that the project is executed with best practices and delivered in 24 months. You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, the federal government is criticized for its budgetary allocation to education. We'll tell you who's doing that in just a moment. Stay with us.